These artists adopt diverse techniques in interpreting their art, and they are strong individually, so coming together adds a spark to the walls, which gets the audience's attention, and they explain what it all entails. I use the corporate culture, because the corporate culture is a culture where there are no cut corners. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a totally professional ground where you have to prove your metal. And um, it gives me a lot of pleasure, you know, to know that at least within the corporate culture, compared to other endeavors in our society, there are lots of things people do to make success or so-called success, you know? Yeah, but look at those pieces and you can see the pride of the successful people, the icons used on them, like the wristwatches and the, the telephone accessories. Some of them that are not here even have electric bulbs on them. If you go to history and find out how the man that invented electric bulb, how many years he did experiments to achieve that, and what level of, of joy in, that came to him when he achieved success in creating electric bulb. Just like when man was able to corner time into wristwatches and been able to create portable handsets, those are, those are, those are excellent, excellent achievements made by humanity. So that is why I use them you know, to portray the excellence in the human mind and brain of the corporate culture that marks the special excellence you can only find within the cultural sector. and the materials they used to achieve it. A trip to Makoko, where the, where the school, almost the floating school is, I now said, OK, showing the environment will help to create more awareness. So all I did is I now took it to, towards com uh, a social commentary uh, title, that is Downtown GRA. Uh, and that is, you know what, what we usually see downtown, where you see some, some uh, things that are not so pleasant in the society. Most of the images are colorful, capturing the beauty in the Nigerian landscape, the reason why these ones cannot afford to be left behind. Hopefully one day some children from Makoko will be able to do things like this because the artists have also come to Makoko with us to teach the children how to paint, how to hold a pencil properly, a colored pencil, how to draw and many children were so, um, so keen on learning. Different methods but one goal to make this world a better place. And this team believes it's in your hands. Now it's time to give you a clue about who our artist for this week is and see the works of art you sent in on our online platform. He was known as a performer who was sensitive to the quality of the acting and stage. Like Ogundi, most of his early works are Yoruba folk operas. The rhythm is provided by drums played in the background. The songs are done in Yoruba language and dancing was an integral part of any of his performances.
And these are your works of art for this week. Nature Cannot Be Cheated is a work done by Femi on marble on decor. Then take a look at my long neck, that's what makes me real. That's a work of art done by Joseph Daniel, it's a self-portrait. This oil work is called I Love You Baby. It's done by Godson Ibube. Darlington has Feel, an oil on chipboard work of art. Then Etinosa has this pen on paper work, it's called Africa is Blessed. Mohammed has a pencil work which says there is light after the tunnel. Then Yusuf has this work called Gravity of Life. It's done with a technique he calls I Noise Him. And those are the pictures you sent in this week. Do keep them coming and always remember to put the relevant information beside them. I really like that drawing by Mohammed titled There's Light After the Tunnel, as well as the other ones you sent in. So keep the creative energy charged. And we have someone just like you. He's already gathered enough works of art for an exhibition. Wondering who I'm talking about? You'll find out in a moment. Stay with us.